104.9 Sunshine FM. Tracy and the Big D with you right through till 10 o'clock, which is getting close up by the minute. That was George Sitch there and I got a little drunk. Well, I can tell you a couple of little things. I bet you the champagne was popped. Not that she got drunk or anything, but congratulations. Five weeks into the charts, three weeks sitting at number one, one week into number two, and of course that first week straight in. We're talking about Message in a Cloud and Ali Cook. Ali, how exciting is that? Five weeks in the charts and you've been sitting in two, one, one, one. Pretty fantastic. Uh, Doug Bruce has slipped me out the way, but that's a great song of his. So, oh, um, only just a know. little bit, because I think he's been <laughs> he's sat there for about nine times, so he's been up and down a few times as well. Yeah, oh, look, I've just been stoked with the reception to the song. You know, that's been the, the biggest thing about it, really. I, I didn't expect that with Message in a Cloud, and um, I've just connected with people. I guess that's what you look to do, you know? It's really connected with me, and even with Darren. We've been talking about it all week, actually. That song takes us back to when we were little kids and we used to lay in the fields and you know, you'd, you'd watch the clouds and make things up. Well, we still do that today. So it's like, not yeah. that we really lay out in the field very much because it's too far <laughs> to get back up again, but... But we do, you know, you often be driving along something, oh, look at that, this is, you know, and you, we're always picking things out and you're seeing different things. So I think that is, like, highly relatable. Plus the song is so catchy. Yeah, I think it's sort of one thing that that's sort of something that I've said to people is that it's just sort of something that just about everyone's done, hasn't it? Everybody's mm. looked at a cloud and gone, oh, that reminds me of something, or gosh, that looks like something. Or, or you sort of look in the cloud and you might think about someone who's gone and left you. and yeah. You know, you sort of think about them for a minute. And, and I've had that a lot just on the Facebook page, people popping on saying, oh, you know, I think about that. Sometimes I look in the clouds and I think about my mum. And, you know, you sort of think, oh, that's what you really write songs for, is for people to connect with them and, and connect with the emotional side of it. But I mean, it is something that we've all done in our lifetime. The song itself is so happy. So it's like, yes, that is gone or, you know, yes, that's there or what you're seeing. But it's a happy, it's a really happy vibe. Most people that we speak to that are singer-songwriters will say that, the you know, the lyrics come first and then comes the tune. What came first for Ali in this song? I think you saw me up in Tamworth this year when I wrote that <laughs> because I was very sunburned mm-hmm. after I'd finished writing it. I was lying in the swimming pool. We'd hired a house and there was Frank Highfield and Nicky Gillis and a whole heap of us and we'd hired this house. And they all went out and I went and lied in the swimming pool. And it was hot as. It was mm-hmm. that year, like not last year, but maybe the year before, I think. It was really, really hot. I was lying out there in the sun and it's an odd cloud just popping over. And it was like, I just went, oh, have you ever seen a message in a cloud? Like a little note from heaven speaking loud and then I went oh my gosh oh my <laughs> I dived out of the pool quickly <laughs> the Tamworth inspirational moment and grabbed the guitar and just began writing it and thought about all the different things that could appear in clouds and it, it just sort of flowed it just came out but it's certainly you, you mentioned the, the connection there everyone will have their own interpretation in the song but they'll get their own interpretation in the message in the cloud too I think like I said it, so it's got, it's, it uses major chords in its structure, so it's quite a happy song. I think with the radio where you play it, it's been the accessibility. It's quite a sort of old-fashioned almost country tune mm. kind of thing. I think that sort of connects with people and, and the listener, you know. Yes. But the video, I think the video on this one has also helped it along. Just this gorgeous countryside. It was, you know, it didn't have much budget to do it. We've used a local little video producer, and that's actually filmed only 20 minutes from my home. So we just drove up the hill. He lived on the other side of the hill. We just met up the top with a drone and uh, took the three players up there. My daughter is the one on the washerboard. Oh. Yes, yeah, so that's my daughter, Melody. And on the washerboard and Nick from the Waratahs, who played on six tracks in the album, and, and Russ on the slide guitar. And we just sat up there like the hills are alive, so looking for the lonely yeah. goat herd, you know. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's that kind of thing. Yeah, you say that, yes. <laughs> it's sort of like a sound of music type sort of scene because it's a big sheep paddock. Kind of looking yeah, out. Yeah, it is but now. Well, that, that's it. That's all I'm going to see now when I look at the video now. Good on you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the alley so, twirling. And in the background, there's a big bay, in the, and that's um, Tasman Bay. So when you look at the South Island, that big bay that's at the top of the South Island, that's what's in the background. So what's next for Ali Cook? Well, I'm busy working over here on the other side of the industry at the moment, being strapped down doing that. I just um, did, at the beginning of the league season, I was the local liaison for some Illawarra St George.
George Dragons that we brought over here to play the Warriors in the pre-season. Did publicity for that match and then I've got a, a similar kind of gig that I'm doing the publicity and event management on with um, bringing Mental as Anything, Angry Anderson and Mark Gable out to New Zealand. Then, then a soccer match is the next thing. <laughs> Central Coast Mariners are being flown over to, to play the Phoenix and I'm the event manager on that. Then it's back to music. <sighs> I will be over to play in Sydney in November with Celine McAllister on a cruise on the Sydney Harbour on the 20th of November. That's a you know, tough gig, isn't it? Bobbing around the harbour, eating finger food yeah. and listening to country music or playing country music in my part of it. <laughs> Tom, we better let you get going. This is Ali Cook, Message in a Cloud. Congratulations on Thank such you. success and keeping it up into the charts there. And uh, let's see how we go for next week. But at the moment, this week, uh, sitting into number two position, five weeks in, three weeks at number one. This week, it is number two. Ali Cook and Message in a Cloud. Thank you.